Ben Samuelson. Our first competitor is Corbin Samuelson. And remember, all six men completed the first weight of 265, so this is the second weight of 300 pounds. This is clean. Strong press. Well, he certainly would like a good performance after finishing last in the carry and drag. Morris Pujanowski got six points for his win in that event. Hugo Girard took second. And with only two men advancing to the final and facing two of the best strength athletes in the world, there is no room for error for guys like American Red Carl Gillingham. Hungary, Tibor Masaros. This is Tibor Masaros, 35 years of age from Hungary. God, he looks to me like a small powerhouse. His background is in power lifting. We'll see how that translates here. Easy clean. Making his debut at the world's strongest man at 35 years of age, and he is successful at 300 pounds. Looks like a strong presser tide. Well, let's look at it one more time, Kaz. We talk about the different techniques. He's a power lifter. What do you think? Great clean, taking the log from the waist up across the chest to the shoulders, and then pressing out with strong deltas and tries. Representing Great Britain, Our next competitor Great also made his debut at the world's strongest man. This is 30 year old Mick Gosling. 65-275, a boat builder from England. Remember, the weight is 300 pounds. He's getting himself set and psyched. Come on, It's a strong move to the chest. Doesn't look like he's got it in the shoulders to get it all the way up. He sure is fighting it, though. Come on. Kaz, is it true if you get it to that point, you don't get up on the first press, more than likely you don't get it done? That's true. If, as soon as you set the log down and take your hands off it, you can't try again. All right, Kaz, break down this attempt. What went wrong for him? Mick had a good clean to the shoulders with the log. He just doesn't have the leg drive to push to arm's length. Oh, his was American Carl Gillingham might NFL. seem mild-mannered, but this is a man whose inner fire has helped him become one of the U.S.'s best strongmen. There's not many people doing what we're doing. I work a normal corporate job during the day and then have to behave myself pretty much for when I get out and, and uh, lift heavy things. And it gives me a different opportunity to be more primitive, maybe. When you tell people and they haven't seen it on TV, they, they don't really know if they believe you or not. They know these Magnus guys, Magnus Burr and Magnus Samuelson. They find it hard to believe that you're actually competing against them. But when they see it on TV, it gives you some notoriety. It's getting very competitive in the States now. We had very tough qualifiers this year to get through. And there's probably 10 guys right now that, that could be here. And we're the lucky five that made it through. Next year will even be tougher. Last year was very good for me. It was a long journey to get the opportunity to compete in World's Strongest Man. I was disappointed at the end, but I gave it everything I had. Came very close to making the finals, so it was a very good experience. I learned that if I would have had a perfect day, I could compete with anybody. Hopefully that comes true this year. I've competed against all these guys for years now, so I feel I belong. Well, it's time for Carl Gillingham to step up and prove his point. This is his attempt at 300 pounds. He's fired up, Todd. Really nice clean to the shoulders. And Carl Gillingham is successful at 300 pounds.